Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sharon Rice. I'm with generosity.org, and I'm here with Sonia Claxton, who is the founder of Social Changer, for our next Philly Changer Chats. Hey, Sonia, how you doing? I'm doing well. Good. So glad to have you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Great. So Social Changer um, is an organization in Philadelphia. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about what's, what it's all about and what could we expect from it? Yeah, so Social Changer is a storytelling venture for women and girls. Um, we try to create space for women and girls to tell their story. We understand that those stories are really vital and important to our communities. And we're specifically looking at women who feel like they don't have a voice um, and looking at more specifically women in poverty. Mm, okay. Yeah. So what was some of the, the, the drive behind creating this organization? Uh, what was the inspiration behind it? Mm -hmm. So um, a few, I want to say a few months ago, maybe a year, year and a half ago, um, I got the opportunity to tell my story. It was something that had never been given to me. It was an opportunity I'd never received before. Um, and it was a powerful experience. Mm. For one, um, I recognized that I did have a story. And what came out of that story was that I felt like the invisible face of Philadelphia. Mm. Um, my mother was a single mom. And when my husband and I separated, I also found myself a single mother. Um, and living in Philadelphia and raising a child as a black single mom um, was a really hard and hard time for me. Yeah. <laughs> and so I recognized that, you know, um, there were other, I'm pretty sure that there were other women who felt the same way and who also didn't have space to tell their stories about life in Philadelphia as single moms, mm -hmm. um, life in Philadelphia as women in poverty, especially women who are raising children in this city as well. So that really gave me the push and the courage to kind of move this forward. Um, we founded the organization in January of 2014 mm -hmm. and kind of moved forward in naming it and giving a website in April. Um, so we're coming up on our like official one year anniversary yeah. and you know it's just been a really exciting opportunity and again creating space for not just my own story mm -hmm. but for other women's stories and putting in a digital platform that's easy for people to access right. and to submit. Great, great. So when you first launched the program um, things didn't go really as well as you had planned but then you had a relaunch. Can you just walk us through a few, uh, how that felt and what, what did that do for the overall impact that you were intending to have? Yeah, so um, our kickoff event was in April and it was scheduled at Benjamin's desk. We were co-working there at the time. Um, and the event was entitled Her Ideas, Her Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. um, and we had one person register. And I was just like, oh, this is really sad. Yeah. I still think it's a powerful platform mm -hmm. that needs to be addressed in Philadelphia, but I recognize that I need more women to catch on. Right. So I backed up and I said, what are the stories of women's experiences in Philadelphia? Mm -hmm. And when I could connect with people on their stories, then I knew that I could connect with them on their ideas. Mm. And so right now we're really just um, championing storytelling sure. and encouraging women to share their stories, recognizing that once they move beyond that, they're gonna start telling us what they envision mm. for their Philadelphia. Right. So yeah, we're really in this space and we're wanting to encourage more women to go there. Yeah. So uh, the Twitter chats are there. You have a, a, a really easy way for people to get involved. What are some collaborations that you'd like to see um, from mm -hmm. organizations in Philadelphia, or, or what are some collaborations that you've already been able to make? Yeah, so we've worked with um, the Girls' Justice League. Mm -hmm. um, they're based in Philadelphia, and they're really interested and passionate about the status of girls in Philadelphia. And, um, you know, in Philadelphia, we know that 28% of our population lives in poverty. Mm -hmm. But another, but on top of that, 42% of women, whether they have children or not, are also living in po poverty. Wow. And when we talk about children, 39% of children who live in Philadelphia live in poverty. Mm -hmm. um, so we know that going the route of focusing on the issues surrounding women and girls is the right route and will help Philadelphia develop um, more than it already is. But we also recognize um, that we have to do that through partners. And yeah. so Girls Justice League is just one organization that's doing really amazing stuff. Um, we've hosted two storytelling workshops in their organization. And we also offer 
um, more storytelling ventures for other nonprofits, specifically those that serve women and girls mm -hmm. in Philadelphia. And we definitely want to dig deeper into those who are living in poverty. Right. Um, so some of the organizations that we have in mind, we love to partner with um, are the Salvation Army, mm -hmm. United Way, just thinking about large organizations in the city of Philadelphia, Project Home, mm -hmm. um, who have access really to those women and girls. Um, I would also love to partner with Philadelphia Works um, and getting access to women who are in the welfare to work programs. Mm -hmm. So there's a number of different organizations and institutions that are touching these women and girls who are living in poverty. Mm -hmm. And I would love to partner with a number of those organizations. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you're definitely in the right city for collaboration. So uh, Philadelphia is right with it. So I am sure that as the year goes on, you're going to be very successful in getting those partnerships together. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so this is great. So just as we wrap up, what, what's, a, what's a really great takeaway that you could offer for people who want to get involved with the organization mm -hmm. or for people who are looking to start something um, like that? Yeah, I definitely think the biggest takeaway for me was that um, I was able to find my story mm -hmm. and through my story I was able to push forward and create, number one, just an idea. Like Social Changer is just my little idea. Um, but then also move it forward into something that's solid that other people can interact with. Um, so for the female social entrepreneur who's just starting out, keep going. Um, I'm here as a support to validate your ideas. You can do it, move forward. And for the organization, the large organizations, um, I really hope that they would see that women like myself and other social entrepreneurs have really great ideas and really great um, inventions that can potentially solve some of our major issues and crisis that we're dealing with in Philadelphia. Yeah. And I hope that we can move forward together. Great, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Sonia, for joining us today. Thank you for having me.